Hey there friends, Scott here with The Networking Lair. Thanks for tuning on in. Really, really do appreciate you. So today we're gonna to talk about something really cool. What we're gonna be talking about is DHCP and how DHCP gives us our dynamically allocated IP address. What a lot of people might think is that Bill Gates personally gave them their IP address. No, doesn't happen that way. How about we go check out DHCP and go from there? Come on. Let's go have some fun. What actually is DHCP? DHCP is an acronym for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The key word here is dynamic. All you need to do is turn on your computer and get it onto a network with DHCP and DHCP will do what it needs to do. The DHCP server that has assigned you your IP address may have only leased that address to you, meaning that you may have a different IP address if you don't go onto that computer often. This DHCP lease could be for the span of 24 hours, or it could last a week, possibly longer. It all depends on how the administrator configured the DHCP server that determines how long you keep that specific IP address. When that lease runs out, the IP address is returned to the IP pool where it is placed back into circulation. It should be noted, however, that on small networks, many computer systems are typically reassigned that same IP address. You may be thinking to yourself, I don't have a server. Am I not going to get an IP address? No worries. For your home and small business, your standard router or wireless access point works as your DHCP server. As we can see in this picture of my home router's configuration, I do have DHCP enabled and I can control how many addresses I have on at one time. Pretty cool. DHCP works in a client server mode. When a computer needs an IP address, it begins a four step process to obtain said IP address and to begin that lease. Since the computer does not have a valid IP address yet, it will flood the network with a broadcast to look for a DHCP server. This is known as DHCP Discover. The DHCP server is sitting back relaxing. It receives the DHCP discover message and gets all excited. It reaches into its magical IP address bag and reserves an available IP address to pass along to the computer system. The system then sends out a DHCP offer message back to the client. The computer receives the DHCP offer. The computer looks it over and sees that it can get an IP address and that the address will last for only so long due to the least time. But this computer system is excited. It can finally get out there and meet new friends and explore the world. The World Wide Web, that is. The computer responds back to the server with a DHCP request, pretty much saying that it wants the address and will gladly take it. The server receives the DHCP request from the computer and is happy to help. The server sends out a DHCP ACK, meaning acknowledgement, to practically say, here you go, have fun. The simplest way to remember the states of DHCP is to think of that little explorer, Dora. Discover, offer, request, ACK. To become an explorer, you must know Dora. Now, you might have one issue here. Let's say you work for a huge corporation that has a DHCP server on a separate network. Remember when I said that DHCP was a broadcast? Routers do not forward broadcasts. If your DHCP server is on a different network and cannot get past the router, how exactly will you be able to get an IP address? Don't worry, we can handle this. That's where the IP helper address comes into play. The IP helper address allows a router to forward a DHCP broadcast to a DHCP server. The router is acting as a DHCP relay agent and passes the DHCP broadcast to where it needs to go. With this topology, we can see that the DHCP server is actually on a completely different network. We will need to implement the IP helper address. For this example, we will be placing the IP helper address on the location 2 router. We want the IP helper address as close to the computers as possible. 
you will want to configure the IP helper address on the interfaces or sub interfaces that are facing the switch. Now, I am a Cisco guy. I am not certain if this command will work on other companies' products, but in this scenario, we will use the command IP helper address followed by the address of the DHCP server. So it's really cool how that IP helper address will actually help you traverse the network to get to your DHCP server. So let's head on over to the computer now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fire up Packet Tracer and we're gonna actually configure a IP helper address onto a router. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and configure some IP helper addresses. Just to note, everything from here on down has been already configured as well as from here on down. The only thing that we need to configure is the gig port on this router to actually, well, point to the DHCP server. So uh, just to show you here, when I minimize this screen, all of our computer systems, DHCP failed, DHCP failed, DHCP failed. And we see the beloved 169 dot blah, 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 blah from Microsoft saying, hey, guess what? Something ain't right. Let's go ahead and go back on into here. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring up location two. Go ahead, get into global configuration. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into that uh, gig port, which is interface GI00. Whenever you're doing anything with IP helper addresses or sub interfaces, it's always best to go ahead and shut it down which it looks like it already is. So from here, we can go ahead and go into the uh, sub interfaces. So we'll do interface GI00.10 for the VLAN 10. IP helper address 10, 10, 10, 10. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that on the other two VLAN, or I'm sorry, the other two sub interfaces. Might help if I get there. Then from here, we'll go ahead and get back into the gig zero zero. And from here, we will apply the no shut command. We'll go ahead and speed up the process. And let's go ahead and minimize this and let's see if we're getting IP addresses. We can minimize you too. And what do you know? DHCP successful, successful, successful 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 and successful so i don't know about you but i'd say we were pretty successful <laughs> so all in all not too hard and not too shabby if you found this video helpful go ahead give me a thumbs up go ahead subscribe as well because there's a lot more videos on the way i have a lot of ideas right on up here and i want to take you all along on this amazing ride that i'm on right now so y'all take care, stay safe, and we'll be seeing y'all later in the next video. Take care.